There are Pride Month celebrations across Colorado right now. It's always Pride. It tracks. The now iconic LGBTQ club has an unusual backstory, one that caught the eye of a filmmaker from Denver. A lot of that LGBTQ history hasn't been told, and I think Trax is a place that a lot of that happened and a lot of people came and were doing life together. Trax is a nightclub based here in Denver that's been running for 40 years, and it started as a gay nightclub back in the 1980s. Starting a gay nightclub in Denver in 1980 is just a crazy story. When Marty Chernoff passed away, who is the owner and founder of Trax here in Denver, they wanted somebody to do a memorial video for him, and so they hired our team to do it. So we ended up turning that memorial video into a documentary. Here's the doc. Marty is a straight, white, Jewish businessman. And he realized there was need for a community like this, and so that's when he started tracks with a, a group of LGBTQ people. I just realized it was a bigger story than just a short doc, and so I started work on a feature film. So the, the screenplay is based on the true stories. This part of the script is based on the true story of just like they put up this sign. If you can't tolerate everyone you come in contact with, tracks isn't the place for you. And Marty was like, uh, what? Like, you have to change that. And he was like, what? What's wrong with it? And he was like, do you like being tolerated? He made them go back and change the sign so it said accept instead of tolerate. As an ally, he very much made the space and then got out of the way. And I think that's an important story to be told during any times where people are being oppressed and coming up and fighting for their own rights. Like it's a sweet story, it's a powerful story, and it's a really fun ride. <laughs> Sean and her team are currently casting for the main roles, and they plan to shoot the whole film in Colorado starting next spring.